Hey guys, what's up? It's been a great week and really, really a great two weeks. I mean, I had the crosscut sled and the mallet build and um, what else did I have? Oh, the coasters. Those were actually a pretty big hit. Uh, a lot of people are really thinking about building those for gifts and, and uh, that it, it actually does make a great gift. My mother is actually going to get one for her birthday. Hopefully she won't see this before I see her this weekend. <laughs> It's, it's been fun. Um, I've had a lot of feedback about my videos, a lot of questions. Uh, everybody seemed to love the dead blow mallet. And uh, I've got some good news for the people that want to build it. I have comprised some plans on a design program that I use on my iPad. And uh, if anybody wants plans, send me an email. Uh, my email address is rhwoodshop at gmail.com. And uh, I'll send those out to you and you can build one of your own. Also, uh, I have a, another mallet, but it's not a uh, dead blow. This is just a carpentry mallet. And uh, I, I used it for a long time. When I first made it, I think I cut the angles on the head a little bit too steep. Um, I should have just made, made it like a three degree. I think it's more like five or six, but I mean, it, it works really good. It just has a really bad, bad thing of uh, uh, denning wood, so that's why I use the dead blow a lot more, but this is really good for uh, doing chisel work. How, uh, speaking of mallets, I did receive John Hines mallet in the mail, and you saw me use that in the coaster uh, video that I posted this week, and this mallet is great. The, the actual weight of it is fairly similar to what I made a long, long time ago, and uh, it's, I don't know, I mean, the, the craftsmanship that he put into it is great, I really like how it looks and the hard maple is uh, combined with the fur. And I never would have thought to, to do the handle like this, uh, the, the wrap, so that's that's really something. John, I really appreciate this hammer. Uh, like I said, it's gonna get a lot of use in the shop and uh, I'm very proud to have it, so thank you very much. One other thing I wanted to uh, tell you guys, if you guys ever have an opportunity to go to flea markets or antique shows, there's one that happens in Oklahoma City every month i believe is what it is and i found this dealer out there that had some hand planes and this one has been completely restored except for a little bit of rust on the surface uh, so a little bit of lapping might be needed there but the 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 whole thing has been completely redone and it's a stanley number no. five i believe and uh it is a gorgeous plane uh it even has a new new knife uh, inside the plane too and I was really happy to find that and on the same table was this uh, Stanley Handyman number three I believe is what this one is and uh, like a jack plane maybe I can't remember I don't know all of my planes <laughs> so don't don't hate me on this I'm sorry I'm not a hand plane or not, not a hand tool guy but I found both of these and this one's not fully restored but I have been hand plane shopping for quite a while and I've managed to accumulate three over here. One of them is a number seven. And uh, I paid upwards of 60 and $70 for some of those planes on eBay. I found these at that antique store. This one that had been fully restored for 20 bucks, 20 bucks. And then I found uh, this one right next to it for 15. And then the guy looked at me and he said, well, I could probably do both of them for 30. And I was like, well, sold, dude. A few more comments about my table saw. I've had some, uh, some more people come in late and uh, have subscribed to my channel and they've watched the whole table saw build and uh, it, it's getting a lot more attention again. Um, I, I've been really happy with it. Uh, I, I can't complain. There are still things that I want to do, uh, some added storage that I want to put inside some dead space that I have here, but I'm very, very happy. If you guys have an opportunity to build a cabinet like this, I highly suggest doing it. Not only does it give you tons of surface area to work on, but it allows adequate support for big sheets of plywood and I don't know, it's just, it's just a centerpiece of my shop. I do plan on making a... Uh, assembly table that's actually going right where the camera is sitting and it's going to be about half the, the width of this table saw and it's going to sit back there that will serve as an outfeed surface as well and it's going to have storage for my dovetailing jig and um, my pin nailers and all kinds of stuff. So some of the stuff that's in these drawers here is going to go in that. Plus there's going to be a few added 
tricks that I have been brainstorming on uh, that you won't see in any old assembly table. So I'm really excited to get started on it, but my funds are just getting depleted and I'm trying to save up some more money. I've got a few commission jobs that I'm gonna be starting very, very shortly. Uh, so the next items that I'm probably going to end up doing is a uh, cornhole game. That'll be this upcoming video this uh, next week. Uh, that'll be for my daughter's birthday. And then um, also going to do uh, some children's tools in a toolbox. And then the week after that I am taking off so I can try and get my website up and running. I'm also starting a new job. Uh, on the 17th. A lot of things that are going to happen, so you guys uh, will probably have to do without me in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to take a week off. Uh, other than that, if there are any questions you guys have, uh, like I said, if you want the plans for the mallet, you can send me an email, uh, rhwoodshop at gmail.com. And uh, I do have some plans for the table saw, but they don't have a, a, a actual measurements. You can fill those in yourself because everybody's table saw is going to be different. You might want it a different height and blah 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 blah. I mean there's all different things that you can do but I do have uh, plans for it if you want them so uh, just let me know what you guys want and uh, I will respond to you very quickly uh, but I guess until uh, Monday or Tuesday I'll give you guys another video for the cornhole game so until then I'll see you later